In Cleveland, both the Cowboys and Browns faced the fact that a loss meant almost certain elimination for a playoff berth. A rain-muddied field made almost routine plays hazardous. The quagmire induced both teams to engage in a soggy theater of the absurd. The slippery ball made catches by both receiver and defender almost impossible and once gave number 34 Mike Howell a chance to do his imitation of a waterlogged whippoorwill in flight. To end his act, Howell exited stage left with the latest dance step, the combination secondary stomp and goose step. With it all, Cleveland took an early 2-0 lead when Bob Hayes misplayed a punt, then compounded his misfortune by being trapped in the end zone for safety. For the second straight game, the Cowboys' defense, led by their all-pro tackle Bob Lilly, number 74, did not allow a point. Although double, triple, and even quadruple teamed, Lilly usually managed to get a piece of Cleveland quarterback Bill Nelson. Though Cleveland owned all the statistics, Dallas dominated them and a big play was really needed. At times, Bill Nelson led Dallas a merry chase. He was superb in the goo and passed for over 300 yards. But once in sight of the Dallas goal, Cleveland seemed to come apart. Once with a fourth and one at the Cowboy 11, the Browns disdained three points and came away with nothing. Another time, Cleveland receiver Gary Collins interfered with cornerback Herb Adderley, and a penalty denied the Browns a score. But the biggest play of the game occurred in the fourth quarter, when Nelson's connection with Collins was spoiled by a fumble that was alertly recovered by Chuck Howley in the Cowboys' end zone. Dallas combined their luck with two Mike Clark field goals and defeated Cleveland 6-2. For the Browns, the final seconds told the probable end of a long, disappointing season. <laughs>